Who's at the controls? Qantas Flight 72 was a scheduled flight from Singapore Changi Airport to Perth International Airport. The aircraft that flew on that day of the incident was an Airbus A330-300, registered as VHQPA. On board that fateful day were 303 passengers and 12 crew members. In the cockpit was ex-US Navy Captain Kevin Sullivan and he had 13,600 flight hours, 2,500 on the A330. First Officer Lipset had 11,650 flight hours, 1,870 on the A330. And finally, Second Officer Hales had 2,070 flight hours with 480 on the A330. At 9.32am Singaporean Standard Time, the airplane left Singapore on time for what seemed like a normal flight. This was far from the truth. After reaching cruising altitude of around 37,000 feet, everything seemed normal with no abnormalities. However, at 12.40 Australian Western Standard Time, one of the aircraft's ADIRUs fed incorrect data to the flight computer. Let's take a step back and talk about the A330 systems. The plane has three Air Data Inertial Reference Units, or ADIRU. These systems have a few components in them, and most notably in this incident, a CPU. These systems were the backbone of the aircraft computers. On this flight, one of the CPUs corrupted the data of the ADIRUs. This made the aircraft have false overspeed and stall warnings electronic system related warnings and the loss of altitude information on the captain's display for the rest of the flight. Around two minutes later, the CPU relabeled the data word of the altitude to represent the angle of attack as a 50.625 degree angle, which activated the safety mechanism to dive the plane. This dived the plane a total of 8.5 degrees until the captain finally regained control, until once again, a few seconds later, the plane dived. This incident injured 118 people, both who were strapped and unstrapped. The pilots decided to divert to Learmonth Air Force Base, and during these moments, the pilots carefully put down the flaps one setting at a time at 10,000 feet just to be sure that the aircraft won't respond. The crew started moving the controls to check if they were safely manoeuvrable. During this time, the overspeed, stall and master warning alarms were sounding in the cockpit, and despite trying to turn them off, it did not work. The pilots descended and reached the final stages of the flight. The pilots descended and reached the final stages of landing, which they had to do with manual braking, limited spoilers and flaps setting to three. All passengers were safely disembarked and some were airlifted to Perth to be treated for serious injuries. Many A330s and A340s had their systems changed and the accident plane returned to service. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment more video ideas. Thanks.